What is up? Today we have a few unboxings. Uh, this one is from a website called Pops Knife Supply, and that is because I have some Christmas related stuff that I'm currently working on. Um, that's one site that I use to get a lot of materials. And yeah, um, so I feel like I can probably disclose this on the channel because no one really, no one that I really, um, none of my family really watches the channel. So um, for Christmas, I decided I'm going to do some kitchen knives for them. And there's a, there's a site that offers uh, chef knife blanks that are already pre-hardened, pre-ground. Basically, all you really have to do is take some handle material and put the handle on, essentially. So I thought I'd do a little bit of customization. Uh, the steel on them are not, like, super crazy amazing, but it is definitely miles better than the typical knife blocks that you get set you get from a department store. Um, they're 9CR. Uh, 18 MOV chef knives, which are perfectly fine for a chef knife. Um, but for this, I got a, this is a uh, surface conditioning belt for my grinder. Basically, this is going to put a more even finish on the blades because I'm not going to just put a handle on them. I'm also going to, um, I'm going to sand off all of the, all of the, because I think there's some laser markings that come on that knife. So I'm going to sand all those off and then I'm going to put a real nice hand rub finish on them. So um, this will also help to really even out the finish. So yeah, we got a conditioning belt. Um, I already have the handle material. Uh, I have some Tiffany Blue G10, which I'm going to use some Ivory G10 pins. Uh, just a nice classy looking knife for my, for my mom. And then for my wife, since she's a big LSU fan, I have this purple G10. And then I have this kind of like this gold color g10 for the pins so it'll be kind of like an lsu themed knife so it should be pretty cool and i couldn't really decide what to do for my dad so i'm going to use the these vintage cross cut westinghouse micarta they look real nice and um as far as pin material goes i haven't really actually no i have i think right in this box actually i have yes I have some micarta pin material right there. So this is, I believe, just black black canvas uh, pin material. So there we go. So it'll kind of look real nice with the with the other micarta. A little bit of contrast because the black micarta pins. And I do have some more can of material. This is kind of for my own personal my own personal stash. I really want to get a 12 by 12 block at some point, but I have these really nice uh, blue paper micarta scales. They're not vintage micarta, but they do look real nice. I like this quite a bit. Um, the 12 by 12 slab, I have a couple 12 by 12 slabs of micarta, and um, this stuff is pretty expensive. I think for a 12 by 12 slab, it is about $70, and for the set of scales, I think it was only like 15 so... I decided just to buy a set of scales for now just to check it out because, and it looks real nice. I like it quite a bit. So it should look real nice on a knife for sure. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that box right there, I do believe. Next up, you guys have been asking for them. I've just been, I don't know. I haven't really had much reason to place an order, but um the company that I ordered my stickers through had a Black Friday sale. So I ordered some NAF Sergeant, or just NAF stickers now. Um, so yeah, here we go. We have some this time around because I try to order a different color every single time. As you can see here, I mean, looking back now, since it's Christmas, I probably should have got green and red, but whatever. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I got green and hot pink. Um, like I said, I, I try to get different colors every single time. So yeah, we got some stickers. Um, and I think to commemorate the fact that I got some stickers, I, um, probably going to do some sort of small giveaway just for the fun, just for the hell of it, you know, whatever. Uh, and for Christmas. So, uh, stay tuned for that. It might be an Instagram one. I'm not really sure. You guys leave it down in the comments below. Do you want it to be on YouTube or Instagram? Um, so yeah, got some new stickers. And 
lastly, yes, this unboxing does actually involve a knife. Um, so ever since I started building this knife, oh, by the way, a little build update here. Um, so the knife did actually survive the heat treatment, as you can see. And then I did the acid etch, and I gotta say, it looks pretty awesome. I'm kind of debating whether or not I want to put scales on this thing now, because it looks pretty darn sweet. Um, and then after I did the acid etch, um, cause I didn't really want it to have that, that chalky feel that, you know, like a Chris Reeves Sabenza, like the handle does on the titanium. Um, when you ha have the knife in the etch for a long time, it kind of has that sort of same sort of feeling. So, um, what I did was I actually took a scotch bright and I kind of just carefully did a quick, a single direction at a time is just like a few times. And I kind of put this nice little hand rub finish on. I also did it to the backside of the handle as well. And yeah, um, I'm actually kind of digging this whole Damascus hand rub finish. I think it looks pretty awesome. Um, the goal is to finish this thing up tomorrow. All I have to do is um, shape the, finish shaping the scales because there's going to be a part right here that I'm not going to be able to do it while the scales are on the knife. So I'm going to have to do that by hand off the knife. And then after I finish that up, I can epoxy the scales on there with the pins. And then once the epoxy finishes drying, I can sit here and just kind of shape the rest of the handle on the grinder. So, and then after that, obviously I got to put an edge on this thing. Um, I did grind it down a little bit further, so it is super thin on the cutting edge. I just need to put an actual secondary bevel on there. So, um, yeah, I love the way this thing has turned out. <laughs> I'm loving it. So, uh, yeah. And for those of you asking, yes, I did do my own heat treat on it. I basically went online. I searched how to heat treat ADCRV2 because that's what Baker Forge tells you to do. Just heat treat it the same way as regular ADCRV2 because that's the core steel on this sand my Damascus. Um, so that's what I did. I I don't have all of the like I don't have a like a heat treating oven or anything like that. So I kind of just did it as best as I possibly could. Um, and it turned out pretty darn well. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so, and while I had the idea to build that knife, I kind of went on a little, um, quest for a EDC fixed blade. Cause I was really liking the look of that, that chickadee knife that Kevin lefty EDC has. Um, unfortunately those knives are pretty much impossible to get. You got to get them on a drop or something like that. So I kind of went on a little quest to find something similar myself. And I found this other kind of smaller maker and I ordered it and it arrived super, super fast. So, uh, there's that. So that's the actual knife itself. And we have a bunch of packing. So interesting. So here we go. Let's see what we got here. We have a knife from CJL knives, a company or maker that I have not heard of until um, I saw this knife. Um, I actually bought this on eBay. Um, new, it was still new, unused. Um, but surprisingly, the price of this knife was actually cheaper than what they go for brand new. So that was pretty cool. Um, we have the Archer is the model. Scales, Arctic Fat Carbon, Magna Cut Blade, Bead Blast and Wash, made August, or no, July of this year. So yeah, pretty cool. And... I kind of did a little digging on the uh, this maker's Instagram, and the Magna Cut is heat treated to 64 HRC, so that's pretty cool. You definitely want your steels heat treated optimally, and 64 is great for Magna Cut. And here we go. So here is the knife in the fanciest of Ziploc bags. There we go. We have a small taco style sheath which is what i prefer you get a little strap for your belt and let's pull this guy out it, it's very much like the chickadee except this one is actually a warney or maybe it's a reverse tonto i guess um or a modified sheep's foot because if you look closely it does actually have a little bit of belly so got some nice jimping up on top on the spine i like that quite a bit just a nice simple little edc fixed blade I dig it quite a bit. Nice and thin. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I'm not so sure that this is the Arctic. Maybe, not, maybe eh. 
I forget the name of this. It's because it's not Arctic Storm. So maybe this maybe it is this is just called Arctic. Because it's the white with the gray. So it's not the blue one, but um yeah, I mean it looks largely unused still. Do we have anything to cut nearby? Um, I do not, unfortunately. Here's a sticky note. I got a sticky note. Not the ideal paper to use, but... Oh, uh-oh. Does this thing need to get sharpened? It very well may need to be. Okay, there we go. Okay. Hmm. So I think there's an area of the blade somewhere that's... A little bit on the dull side. That's okay. I can give it a sharp and then it's perfectly fine. No big deal. Fixed blades, especially in my opinion, are meant to be used because they're definitely not really pocket jewelry. Um, not really fidgety either. So I do like the sheath. Let's check the sheath here. It's clicked into place. I kind of like how the whole thing goes over a little bit ways on the shake it. Does it shake around in there? No, nope, it fits in there pretty nicely, so I don't like it when the knives rattle around in the sheath. Um, probably going to adjust this strap to work on my belt for work, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. Little knife for comparison. As you can see, mine is a little bit shorter than that even. Um, quite a bit thinner, I would guess. Um, but yeah, I'm super stoked on this one. <laughs> Um, and of course, as you can see, it's a little bit different from what I originally showed on the last video. Um, I kind of changed the handle because I wasn't really liking just the plain old handle in the back. I actually kind of swooped it up a little bit. So it's kind of like a sway back fixed blade almost. And it's actually super comfortable in the hand. I quite like it. And it's definitely more comfortable with the scales on there. So the scales are going to go on there. Um, you still will be able to see this little bit right here on the Ricasso, that Damascus. So you'll be able to see what's behind that. But yeah, this has been a long-winded unboxing. I was not intending to go this long. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I really have for you for today. I'm going to give this guy a sharpen right here, and we are going to carry this, and I will probably do a video on that. And then I will finish this guy up, and I will do a video on that. And yeah, I'm probably going to start a new one because I have some more blade. I have some more of this same material, so I might make another one. Maybe I'll take my time on it more and maybe I'll do a giveaway with it. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I really have for you for today. Have a good one.